Let's take a look at creating an application to add two numbers. So I'm going to file a new project. And I'm under the Visual Basic. And um, the Windows Form app is right here, but again, you can choose these options if you want to uh, narrow down these choices. And um, I'll leave it uh, named that. Click OK. For uh, purposes of the class, you want to actually give them names that are meaningful. So later on, if you want to find the uh, application that's adding two numbers, you can uh, you can easily find it. Uh, you don't want to sit there and open up uh, 30 uh, projects trying to find out which one is the one you're looking for. Okay. Now I'm going to drop on uh, two text boxes. So I'll double click the, the text boxes twice. I need. Um, let me see, I need four labels. I need one button. And that'll probably do it. Okay. What I'm doing is I'm left mouse clicking on each one of these and moving it around. As you're moving around, you see the lines. The lines help you line up everything. Okay, so label one here is my first number. So I come over here to the properties. If you don't see the properties, you can right click on this, choose properties, or you can do view, and then properties window, or you can do an F4, it looks like. Now over here in the properties for uh, the label, you click it once, don't double click it. If you double click it, it'll go into the code. You go over the text, and I'll uh, say this is the number one. And I click this one um, one time. In its text, I'll have as number two. Now I'm going to refer to these in my co coding, so I'm going to give them names. So I come over to the properties again, I clicked it one time. Up at the very top, assuming it's sorted from A to Z. If it's not, then click this A to Z button. Under the name, we're going to name this TB underscore num1. TB is my naming convention to say it's a text box. And this one, I'm going to name it TB underscore num2. Now you can name these uh, these ca these um, captions here, these labels or you can name the button. Um, doesn't do much good since we're not going to refer to those in the code. Sometimes people like the button because then they can see in the code what it's supposed to be doing. Let's give it a name just for fun. We'll call it btn button underscore um, calculate or sum two numbers. Now I do want to change the text of it so it doesn't say button one. So I'll scroll down That's add. Now label three is going to be where my answer is input, or um, where it's positioned. So I'll say answer. And label four is where I'll actually write my answer. So I want to give it a name. So I come up here to the name lbl underscore uh, answer. Now, I probably don't want it to say label 4 when I first run it, so I'm going to come down here to the text, and I'm going to blank that out. Now I'm going to click over here in the gray space, so I'm clicking, uh, selecting the form. And for the form, for the text, I want it to say sum of two numbers, something to that effect. And then I'll grab this corner down here with my left mouse button, and um, click and hold down and resize it. And that's a setup of our application. Now I want to program this button, so I'll double click it. I double click it, it automatically goes to the click. This is what I was talking about. See how this says button sum two numbers? So it self documents what it's going to do. Okay, so then we want, uh, let's see, num1, num2, and answer as um, double. I'll bring them in. Double means it can have decimals. These are variables. Uh, that's how we uh, declare them. 
and num1 is going to equal to now we're going to bring this in from text box num1 like that now I want to talk about this there we go you see we got a red squiggly the uh, tb underscore num1 refers to the name of the object and if I click click back over here at this uh, tab if I click uh, tb underscore num1 we don't actually refer, ever refer to the object. We refer to the properties or methods of it. Um, down here in the properties, I got a text, and that's where they're going to input the number. So over here, I want to say dot text. Now, the thing about this is, though, text is a string. And you can put your mouse over it, and it'll tell you. It says that's a string. But num1, we declared as a double. So we need to convert that. So I do double dot parse. There we go. Now what this will do is it'll go out to that um, to that text box. It'll return whatever's in your in your text box, the text, and it'll convert it to a double and put the answer in num one. I want to do the same thing for num2. So I'm going to have double dot parse. And I won't go over the details of that because we just did. Okay, that'll bring in my two numbers. So then I'll say my answer is equal to num1 plus num2. Now at this point, I want to write it back out. And we said we're going to write it into our labels. So we got our LBL. I wonder if I usually do LBL or LB. Not that it matters dot text is that we're going to write it at is equal to answer now answer is a double text is a string so we're trying to dump a um, trying to dump a uh, double into a string so I'm going to do a dot to string and this will convert it now we're ready to run it so if I run it I got um, vast running. Uh, let me disable that. Okay, let me try to run it again. So, so it's got a clean uh, run. It automatically tries it. There we go. Now I'll put some number in here. Put three in there. Put four in there. Click add. Gives me my answer seven. Let's put some decimals. And click add, and it gives us 7.4. And uh, yeah, that's right. And that would be our application for adding uh, adding two numbers together.